Hey guys, I'm Josh. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the little conversion that I did on my 2012 Ford Transit Connect. So we're just going to go straight to the back since everything up front is pretty much stock. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of skeleton still, but basically what we have is a tundral pull-out bed that is also a couch as well as some trunk space and some cabinet space that I'll show you guys once we get inside. So the whole idea when I was building this was I wanted something in a, in a small area where I could sleep uh, fully spread out but also could sit without my head hitting the ceiling. So we didn't want to make anything too too high. Uh, they also, also the other part with uh, using a forward transit connect is they're very compact so making storage space was important and having somewhere to be able to put everything so uh, I'll start going through the the, the pull out bed and the trunk space so basically what we did is we made a bench that goes across um, for half the portion of the of the bed and this is just all screwed down and then uh, what we ended up doing so you can use this as like a bench seat. So if you want to sit over here, um, if, if you know, if you have like two people back here, you can do that. Um, and then we also made it into um, a trunk space. So I just have like, you know, like a tool bag in here, extra batteries, baby wipes, um, and anything and everything that, that you could use. It's on a, on a pretty big hinge on the side here and it's reinforced. So, uh, so this thing's like, it can definitely take the weight of you sitting on it. And then it just uh, matches up flush with the other side of the bench. Uh, I did put insulation, but began to put insulation inside of it. The, um, the, next, the next step that I was looking at doing is, you know, insulating the floor and the ceiling. But right now, like the insulation that's in it is definitely nice for like, your cooler nights but definitely not your winter nights um, yeah so let's move into the the shelf so what I decided to do like the stock shelf of the transit only comes about like 12 and a half inches or a foot and a half from the front of the van which doesn't make a whole lot of storage space and then there's just a lot of empty uh, space up here so what I decided to do is extend it by another uh, like foot and a half, two feet, and this gives me almost uh, two and a half feet of of storage. So I made it, I made the shelf, which is reinforced and is actually screwed up into three rivets in the in the roof of the van, and then I put the front plate on it with some nice uh, cabinet doors that just drop down, and then it has a little magnet for each of them. And uh, the stuff I just keep up here is like. The blankets that we use for sleeping uh, have, you know, extra like rope and uh, cleaning supplies, a, br uh, a broom, um, and basically anything else that you would need. So that all goes up here. Strapped underneath the the shelf is is our little like uh, shower curtain, window curtain, and it just allows us to be able to pull this open. So at night, um, yeah, it blocks out the sun. It's a blackout curtain. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now I'm gonna go into setting up the bed portion and then also show you guys the, uh, the net that we have to be able to keep the door open. So now, uh, if we're getting ready for sleeping at night, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how we, how we make the bed. So right now, this is a three inch memory foam mattress and just has like the basic sheets and stuff on it. Everything else that we have is actually up top but all we do is take this this tundra portion of the bed and slide it out and this will actually this will actually slide the full length of this shelf but right now because the bed isn't as wide like usually I just taper it off and this just gives me a little bit of like standing room when I'm in here and like the door all the doors are closed so usually I set it to about there and then it's just easy as pulling this over my pillow 
and it's set up like this. And then my blankets and everything are all up here. Uh, one thing that we wanted was not not to have to make the bed every night. I mean, we are in this case, but it's uh, it's very easy to to break down and set up each night. Like, it's super easy to uh, to again just like set this up into like whatever you want to call it, couch mode, and just pushing this in, and then. Yeah, now you now you can like have breakfast here right after you woke up from sleeping.